Hello, hello. It is Evangelist Katash over here. Praise the name of the living God. And I just want to let you know, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We've had an amazing time in the Netherlands, in the city of Rotterdam, sharing the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We were invited by Zion International Intercessory Ministry, and we joined hands with other ministries as well especially the ones from the united states and it was such a blessing to be with the body of christ and on the first day we went to rotterdam central and you know i was able to talk to some of the um officers from the station who came to see what we're doing had a good conversation with one of them that was really tall taller than me Praise God. Um, he had a Christian background. And, um, you know, I was just encouraging him, you know, uh, to, to really trust the Lord and believe the Lord, which was great. Uh, we had other people that were singing and praising God and witnessing to people on one to one. People received prayers, lives were saved, which was such a blessing. And it was amazing what God was doing. We could even see people manifesting demonically you know and thank god nothing really uh, serious happened so thank god for that hallelujah praise god and uh it was such an amazing time to be with the people of god and um this is what mission mission the mission field is about you know that we come together we sing we praise god we also um help out in um putting the equipment together, you know, help out in making sure that, you know, everything is run smoothly. We play our part as well. Glory be to God. We don't just preach, but we also get down to the groundwork and, you know, put the stands there, the mixer, um, the table, you know, we got to do that. Hallelujah. And um, it was, it was, a, it was a good day. And then after that, uh, we had a, a, a revival service interceding and praying for um, the youth, the church, the nation. And it was a, a, you know, a powerful time in God's presence. The second day we went to um, Rotterdam Centrum, praise God. And we had the nearly, uh, um, nearly the whole afternoon to evening-ish. And... Um, I, I can't explain like what really happened, but you know, as we were uh, preparing for the t for the day, we were um, sharing some tracks even before we started because we're waiting for people to come. And um, as soon and um, okay, not even as soon as, but uh, when we go again, things started, the mixer, the everything, putting everything together, um, sharing tracks to people as well. Um, you know, already praise were being, being given to some of the public people. And what was so amazing was um, we were doing the flags. And when we're doing, um, oh yeah, the flags, something that looks like the flags. And um, another religious pe people came to join to, <laughs> to also uh, um, dance with the flags. And it was so amazing. And also, um, the police didn't give us no problem. They just asked us for our documents, which we had. We had permits and everything. So we thank God for that. Um, and also, what was so amazing, um, I spoke to these um, three teenagers, three teenagers, um, and some of them had kind of like a Christian background, and I just spoke to them about what we're doing and what it means to... Um, you know, be a follower of Jesus Christ and uh, sow the seed. And what was so amazing is that when I spoke to them, you can see that they were open and they were laughing and all those things. And you might think they were not serious. But I'm telling you, what was so amazing was in about 10 minutes later, they came uh, they came back and they came they came to bless us. And I was, I was, I was like, huh? Like, seriously? And I just... um. I just redirected them to one of the um, the, the women of God's, uh, the women of God, and um, 
that they would they receive prayers and it was such a blessing i'm telling you you know as young teenagers can come and just give you a blessing and that is so amazing whereby you see that the god touched the hearts to do such a thing and and that i mean for the i'll never forget like you know and then we even took pictures together and um also the um as we continue and we we're just praising god and you know worshiping god other people and some individuals from uh from the from the sh from the restaurant uh, trying to you know trying to complain and all those things but the police did nothing like the police was really on our side which was great you know um we uh, throughout the day we're praying for people we're witnessing to people giving out strikes as well um you could see the holy spirit touching lives and people were crying it was it was like there was an open heaven in Rotterdam Centrum. I'm telling you, it was like an open heaven that people were just getting touched by the Holy Spirit. And it is really my prayer that, you know, such an atmosphere will be created even where we are, especially in this place of Nottingham, which is a dark place of witchcraft and demonic uh, atmosphere. We were praying that, this place will be an open heaven like what we experienced in Rotterdam Centrum that people were touched by the Holy Spirit. People were convicted. Even demons were manifesting in people. People were raging. All kinds of things were happening. But the Holy Spirit was moving, touching lives. People were getting saved. You can see it. It was so evident like it was amazing what god was doing that even you know god was you could even see that god was touching even the police and the other officers out there you know and 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 i'm just believing god for for great and mighty things and i believe this is just the beginning of of of, of greater things to come hallelujah and we had um and the next day we had a um a revival gathering as well. God was moving as we were praying and interceding. The Holy Spirit was moving through the spirit of intercession. Praise God, because evangelism and prayer goes hand in hand. You know, we cannot just go out on the streets and expect things to happen when we have not prayed. But you know, we need to till the ground. We need to dig the ground. We need to pray hallelujah because the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not kind of but a mighty for God for the pulling down of strongholds. And there are many strongholds in the minds and in the lives of people that need to be broken. The Bible tells us that every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God must be pulled down in the name of Jesus. And some of these high things and some of these mindsets and the will of man got to be broken, hallelujah, that the Spirit of God can touch lives, that the Spirit of God can move in the hearts of man, that they can come to repentance and know the true living God, hallelujah, praise God. And I just want to say, come on somebody, there is more to God. There is so much more to God. If we have been able to go to, to the Rotterdam, to the Holland, and see God move, how about our nation, England? How about the United Kingdom? And I believe there's time that the people of God begin to rise up and do not play church no more, but they begin to manifest the kingdom of God. We could even see on the third, on the, on the, on the first, on the third day, we went to a, a place called, um, market um balik i think and that place was such a heavy demonic place i'm telling you the spiritual atmosphere in that place was heavy i could even feel it on top of my head but we kept praying and and the christians around were joining hands in hands pushing this demonic wall that was there coming somebody and we are pushing through it come oh my goodness and people again prayed for we're giving out um tracts as well and sowing you know sowing the seed in the ground and believing god will harvest it and out there will be great harvest coming somebody that on sunday even we saw that people came from the street to church and even where church is it's far it's it's far away from town and even how you get to church you have to have a car and they made it all the way to church that tells us that there's fruitfulness in what we have done, glory be to God. And I wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna show the people of God. Like, let me tell you something. You may think that 
nothing is happening but god is moving behind the scenes even right now even yesterday yesterday i even received a warning i even received a warning letters not not knowing not knowing i've been preaching uh, this year we've been preaching uh, you know throughout the throughout the year and i've only now come to realize i got a warning since uh since um april you see the devil the devil is trying the devil the devil is trying everything to stop the gospel from being preached coming somebody they were saying oh we've been too loud and we've been too noisy but they don't tell the lgbt that they be noisy don't they they don't tell the sikhs they be noisy when they do the ring a ding ding and you know they don't tell the Hare krishnas to be noisy but they can say to the christians that we be noisy because uh, if you don't understand that we're living in a generation of the antichrist spirit and this antichrist spirit is moving in the authorities is moving in the government is moving in the place of power and that is how they're able to get us to be silent we could even see that in the pandemic that the church was a lost place to open and i want to tell us christians i want to tell you christians it is not the time to be silent this is the time to stand up this is the time to rise up the early church in the time of persecution they were not silent that even when they got arrested the bible says they began to pray they began to pray and the bible says god sent forth an angel come on somebody to go and save peter the Bible says that, you know, the prison bars were open, glory be to God, that as Paul and Silas began to praise the name of the living God, the place that the word was shaken. And I, I, I believe it's a time that we begin to pray that we have power because when there is power, when they see miracles, signs and wonders happen, they'll have fear. They'll be afraid because they don't know what's going to happen, glory be to God. And we must pray until we have enough power. Glory be to God. We must pray for power. I believe the time has come for talking and talking. The time has come for demonstration of the Holy Ghost. And how we demonstrate the Holy Ghost is when we spend time in the secret place, making business with God, hallelujah, transacting in the heaven is coming somebody, praying until something moves, until something shakes, until something happens. Glory be to God. The world thinks they are wise in the intelligence and they're using all kinds of logic and intellectual reason to stop the gospel because the father is the devil. Hallelujah. And that is why we must stand for such a time as this to kick that devil. Hallelujah. The old serpent out. Praise God that the name of Jesus will be glorified. Come on, somebody. We are not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Hallelujah. For the Greeks and the Jews, glory be to God. Hallelujah. We must lift up the name of Jesus. The King is coming soon. And we must and we must tell the world he's coming. Praise God. The Bible says, if we do not warn the people, the blood will be on our hands. And we don't want the blood of people to be in our hands. Glory be to God. We know and we have seen the goodness of the Lord. That we see miracles, signs and wonders that the blind see, the crippled walk. Hallelujah. The dead come back to life. Glory be to God. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We don't have to let this devilish world detect to us. We need to detect to them. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. This is a Christian nation, praise God, and we must keep believing, hallelujah. We cannot let the LGBT, we cannot let the authorities, we cannot let Islam, we cannot let nobody do the, to the take to us, hallelujah. God is God and God is the one we serve through Christ Jesus and Him alone. The church is not a dead church, the church is alive and we cannot be silent, hallelujah. Don't let them, don't let them uh brainwash you don't let them deceive you don't let them manipulate you don't let them control you now nah, that is witchcraft coming somebody we are called to be separate we are called to be uh you know the sons of god and the sons of god are led by the spirit of god the bible says the words that we speak their spirit and their life hallelujah 
and praise God. And we must keep on speaking. We cannot be silent. We cannot let the stupidity of these authorities giving us all kinds of warnings, all kinds of things, all kinds of strategy to silence us. The devil's a liar. When you begin to see that, you know, there is much resistance, when you begin to see that they are trying to push you to a place that you shouldn't be put, that you shouldn't be in, then you must know that there is something behind the corner. Then there's something behind. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you see that the enemy is trying to do everything to stop you, know that there's something on the other side. It's a place of power. It's a place of favor. It's a place of victory. The Bible tells us that, you know, the people were in the wilderness. They were in the wilderness going through all kinds of things. But eventually what happened? They kept on going. They kept on moving in every circumstance that they find themselves. They kept on going. And the Bible says, J J um, Joshua and Caleb, the, the two individuals that made it out of the promise, made it out of Egypt, went into the promised land to experience the goodness of the land. And it is my hope and it is my belief that the time has come that we move in the lot of rain, the lot of glory. Don't let the devil discourage you. Ah, my, my, my. Don't let the devil influence you. Silence those voices of the enemy. Don't let the devil put you in bondage. Don't let the devil put you down. Shake ya, shake yourself. Come on, somebody. Don't let the enemy, the devil, hey, come on, somebody. Don't let him influence you. Come on. We're not influenced by we're not influenced by the voice of the enemy, but we're influenced by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost and power in the mighty name of Jesus. And I came to tell every principality and every power in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not prevail in the name of Jesus. You are bound in the name of Jesus. Every authority, every counsel, every agent of the enemy, whether you're in a Freemason, the old cult, in the name of Jesus, I send the fire of the Holy Ghost wherever you are right now. Yes, sir. I send the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Those that have been looking after, uh, looking for me, those that have been chanting against me, those that have stood against the ministry, I send judgment onto you right now in the name of Jesus. That my God, who's the God of heaven and earth, will deal with you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you don't repent, yes, sir. If you don't repent, judgment is coming. Coming. judgment is coming at your door in the name of Jesus the Bible says touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm you have risen your ugly head upon the people of God you have risen your ugly head and trying to stop the move of God and I came to announce to you in the name of Jesus that I send the fire of the Holy Ghost to you right now that you have never you never my God oh yes you never have peace yes you never have peace in your life. Yes, the Bible says the words that I speak, they're spirit and life. Yes, the Bible says we speak blessing or curse. And you that have cursed me, you that have spoken against me, I pray in the name of Jesus. The double will go to you in the name of Jesus. If you don't come down from your high horse in the mighty name of Jesus and humble yourself and turn to God and repent from your wicked ways, judgment is at your door. Come and somebody, yes, sir. Ah, yes, we are not holding back no more in the name of Jesus. Come and somebody, there comes a time where the time has come and we settle it this year. We settle it this year. How not next year, we settle it right now in the name of Jesus that you have risen your ugly head trying to stop me and trying to, trying to stop me. Yes, sir. Anybody that's listening, those that are even monitoring this, uh, this, this, this frequency or whatever it is, uh, come on, this social media, whatever it is, I came to announce to you, you cannot bully me. You cannot intimidate me. No, you cannot cause me to go in mental state or depression. That's what you want. But I came to tell you today, the children of God belong to the kingdom of God. And we don't belong to no devilish kingdom of the world. We are in Christ Jesus. And we came to declare the name of Jesus that is far greater than you 
and your devilish agenda. Let me tell you something. One, two, three, your time will be end. Yes, your time will end. Yes, your time will end. You think